by the show of hands has never seen improv. No one? So you know that everything we do is made up on the spot. But you may not know that we have a restroom behind our curtain. <laughs> and you may not know, which it's hard to imagine how you would get through here without realizing that there is a bar behind you <laughs> with alcohol. And I hope some of you have imbibed. <laughs> and we will be performing but before we do, I'll just let you know that in general, there are other shows that will be performed tonight in addition to ours, which is Bel Rev. Now, speaking of Bel Rev, this show, you have the honor and joy of seeing one of Tennessee Williams' American, America's best and unsung playwrights last play but before we begin, I need to come out to you, the audience, and ask over here an object that you would find perhaps in someone's, a relative's attic. Crawdad trap. Crawdad trap. Thank you. And over here, can I please get an adjective you know one of them describing words. Rusty. Rusty. Tonight, Bell Red presents the Rusty Crawdad Trap. <laughs> 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 I will say, the amount of time that you spent at the beach, Cruella, near all those crabs, almost drowning, one time basically drowning until the lifeguard came in to save you, ever since then I have wondered, are you actually a crab? Well, I do like to walk sideways. Oh, I am well aware, Cruella. And I'm good at pinching. <laughs> Careful with those pinch pincers. You might pinch, pinch too much of my laundry. Well, I can give you a massage. Oh, <laughs> Cruella. Wow. Let me see you. <laughs> now I. I should go back <laughs> to my show. No, no. Well, I'm just doing the laundry for me and Roger, and Roger doesn't notice that I do anything anymore. Oh, how could he not notice you, Lucille? I don't know. Just one day. In fact, it was after you drowned for the sixth time. He, uh... <laughs> He woke up and he looked at me and then he growled like a, well, it was like a groan growl. And then he said, Lucille. And then he turned around and went back to sleep. <laughs> and that's scary. I know. And ever since then, he hasn't looked at me the same. And he hasn't noticed anything I've done around the house. And just, I'm sorry, you touched you touch the stress point on my neck, and all of a sudden I'm spilling secrets like there ain't no tomorrow. You can tell me anything. Oh, oh Cruella. It's just, I've got so much tension, and even though the kids are off with their grandparents, he hasn't once looked at me and asked if my pressure points need pinching. Oh, and boy, do they. Any, any time you need pinching and poking, I'm here for you. 
<laughs> I mean, if you want, if Roger's not around. <laughs> Honestly, I think if Roger were around, it would be fine. He won't even look over at me. I try so hard, I've done everything, except pretend to be a crab, which is your thing. <laughs> is it pretending so much when I believe it to be true? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I forget how hard your head got hit against that rock that's out by the water. <laughs> and th that means nothing. Uh, th that doesn't take away or invalidate your reality. The tides go up and down every day and my head does bang oh. often. Yes. <laughs> Which reminds me, darling, if you need a place to stay, we have an extra room while the kids are away at the grandparents. You do that for a thing? You would have to take a shower. And but I could help get the salty sea off of my my shell. Would, would it be all right if you weren't salty for a day? Think about it. I might need help reaching areas. <laughs> Roger. That was a wonderful visit. I know. Mama always said I was better at cooking than Lucille. I, I absolutely agree. Yes, and uh, ever so kind of you to allow me to stay while I do clean places. Yes, if we don't have any, any other way, you bring a little more lot to the house. And now that those <laughs> pesky children are gone, I mean, I, could it be that we're in the home alone? We are. Yes, well, I think we still have a lot of laundry to do down at the river, so it might be a while before she gets home. It might be far, far, far away before we see her again, and who knows what could occur. <laughs> Anything could occur. I can make something else. I can make something hot and tasty that you love. <laughs> Something sweet, perhaps. Something savory. <laughs> Something savory, my ass. <laughs> I remember that one time I was down here and I made those hot cross buns. Your buns are amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. And I watched how you devoured it. Yep. Like never seen someone eat something. They were so buttery, so, so smooth, and so tasty. Maybe I'll make some more. Special batch. Hot and juicy just for you. And your, your hot and juicy buns? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, Roger. Whatever happened that day? you came into our house and I was ready for you to propose to me and yet you got down on one knee and said me too. Yeah. Well, your father kind of put a shotgun to my head <laughs> and forced me to choose her. Her being the older sibling, she didn't, he didn't think that she would be able to find anyone else. How charitable of him. Meanwhile, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Fine. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my inheritance, but it seems like it got stuck in Miss Deal's bank account. She hasn't distributed my funds yet, and now she's she just takes everything from me. Everything. I don't know if I can hang on anymore. We'll figure it out. I still dream of the lot that we could have had, that we should have had, to the point that we will still have. Say such sweet things, but I don't know if I believe you anymore. <laughs> oh, you. sister, Roger, I just finished our walk. Hi, <laughs> everybody. What is Cruella doing here? Well, Cruella often is down by the river, obviously. <laughs> Well, that's where she sleeps often. That looks nice. What is the curious creature you are? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be staying for a little bit. If, well, excuse me? Well, there are two beds in the children's room, and you only take up one of them. I have to be roommates with her? Yes. She doesn't have anywhere else to sleep. Don't worry, I'll bathe her. She smells like dirt and... And the ocean? <laughs> yes. I do massage <laughs> with those pincers. Sister, you look so upset. I just, I, I was not prepared. I thought I would have the room to my own. Well, then... I can't imagine a single woman like you has anything not to share. You should probably get used to sharing, just in case you find a husband any day now. Do you think because I'm single that I should have nothing that is not my own? Well, I would ra rephrase that as you should start practicing living with another person. I'm that person. That's right. You are that person. I don't have nothing either. <laughs> well, I suppose I should at least get you on the nice bunk bed. You're going to have to climb up to the top one. Let's go check it out. Does it go sideways? <laughs> You'll be all right, Cruella. Thanks, sister. Oh, no, thank you. Always oh, so kind and thoughtful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Come this way. I see you're drinking early today. Not early enough. <laughs> That's silly. If you were drinking any earlier, it'd be earlier than 10 a.m. Like I said, not early enough. <laughs> not sure. By the way, I didn't want to take these out in front of anyone else, but look at these delicates. <laughs> They're wet. I'm the river. <laughs> Great. Should I should I put them on? Wet? <laughs> Why would you do that? You're sure you'll get some rash and it'll be bad for you. I do have sensitive skin. Thank you for remembering. It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. Some of these still have stains in them. It's hard to get stains out. We can't afford anything that gets stains out, like <laughs> borax. <laughs> what about the inheritance from your father? Well, that's, that's for safekeeping. You know we shouldn't be accessing that. He just passed. Rest in peace, Daddy. <laughs> it feels weird to talk about my father while holding his delicates. <laughs> Maybe I should put them on. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I think that'd be making you weird if we talk about your father and his delicate. We don't have to talk about my father or money. We could oh. always. I'll be looking away. <laughs> I exposed my left shoulder. My favorite shoulder. We're in the kitchen and I have a shoulder exposed. And we don't have to talk about my daddy. We can talk about my shoulder and my sensitive skin. <laughs> There's other delicates in here. These. They're still wet. Of course they're wet. I didn't hang them up to dry yet. But I would put on wet anything for you. <laughs> now your face got a little wet. Sharing the same room as her sister, by the way. Her sister's been through a lot. Well, now we, she has to do with Cruella. I think Cruella deserves a second chance. She's. Don't you? She's had seven chances. <laughs> <laughs> well, for some people, 
eight chances is the key number. <laughs> it's not like our sister is this trapped here. She could leave. She's only sticking around for the summer anyways. Any day she could be gone, it's good for her. You know, to be close to family. One day she'll have one of her own if she ever changes everything about herself. <laughs> <laughs> But I said it in a nice way. That's <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you and your own flesh and blood has to change in order to be happy in life. She's just so close minded, you know? Careful. The condensation from your glass might drip on my wet delicates. <laughs>
taking somebody else's husband and making that sort of overture is not looked upon very well. <sighs> I'm sorry I took you. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason he said no to you, even though, of course, gentility is important, is because he is a married man. Yes. But any other man or person would be honored to be with you. You want to see that on the straight face next time? Are you even looking? No. Exactly. I just heard it in your voice. Oh. Roger, Cracking voice. Do try to be kind. There's no room for cruelty here. That's quite a soft tickle of his left shoulder there, sister. <laughs> it's my favorite shoulder. Of, of his or in the world? <laughs> Why don't you decide? What's what's going on? Well, <laughs> where's my inheritance? It's in the bank. It's too soon. Daddy wanted us to wait and make sure that we were set for for that. Not immediately. Are you alright? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yes, I, you can do that. We're waiting. But I've lost my patience. Well, you have to have patience. He told me on his deathbed. Which, where were you, by the way? I was elsewhere. Where? I was consoling her. Consoling her? I needed deep, penetrating console. <laughs> <laughs> I can console you, Lucille. Thank you, Cruella. Must we paint it on a wall for you? Happening here. I might I think I might be in denial. Everything you're saying <laughs> is going into my ears, but something is blocking it from really going into the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because I don't want it to, because there's no way that the day after Daddy died when you woke up in the middle of the night and you looked at me and you said, Lucille, and then you went back to bed. And ever since then everything's been different. So that it can't be, that couldn't be. It's been this way forever. But even before Dad and Dad? Long before. Long before. It was only Daddy's insistence that he proposed marriage to you and not to me. Just because you were the oldest spinster sister. <laughs> you didn't believe you'd be able to find a husband if I wasn't one of you. So I bided my time. But, but I knew eventually he would tire of me the moment after he bought him those jewels. I am very fun, and I am very beautiful, <laughs> and you are a floozy! Oh. I'm sorry. That wasn't hot enough. <laughs> and you! I've been throwing my wet delicates at you for ages, and you've never even liked them. <laughs> but they are lovely wet delicates. Coins are wet and never dry. No one has ever complained about not about dryness. <laughs> Cruella is a wet, wet crab woman, and I love her. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.